In this video, we'll look at whether potassium phosphate, that's K3PO4, is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that overall, this potassium phosphate compound is ionic, but when we look at the phosphate ion, the bonds between the phosphorus and the oxygen atoms, those are covalent bonds. So let's look at the periodic table and find potassium here, K, right here. That's a metal, phosphorus and oxygen. Both of those are nonmetals. So we have a metal and two nonmetals. When you have a metal and nonmetals, that is almost always an ionic compound. So based on the periodic table, potassium phosphate, that's ionic. Because it's ionic, we really should look at the charge on each of the ions. So the potassium right here, group one, that has a one plus charge. So we'll just write a plus. So each of the potassium atoms, that has a one plus charge. The phosphate, this whole thing right here, this is a polyatomic ion, really good one to memorize. The phosphate ion, the whole thing, has a three minus ionic charge. So you can see we need three of these potassiums, each one is one plus, to balance out that three minus on the phosphate ion. So we have positive ions, and then this negative ion, they're attracted. That's what forms the ionic bond. Let's talk about the phosphate ion just for a moment. So we said phosphorus, that's a nonmetal. And then oxygen, those are nonmetals as well. So you have two nonmetals, nonmetal plus nonmetal, that gives us a covalent bond, also called a molecular bond. So the bond between the phosphorus and the oxygen atoms, those bonds are covalent. But overall, because we have potassium ions and then the phosphate ion to form an ionic bond. This is Dr. B discussing whether K3PO4 is ionic or covalent. Thanks for watching.